Hi everyone, my name is Professor N and welcome to Site 250. This is Elements of the Brain. Today we'll be going over the different parts of the brain and their functions. I know it can be very difficult to remember them, so we're going to use some mnemonic devices to help remember them a little bit easier. So first up we've got the frontal lobe, right? To remember this section you just have to remember, generals are usually at the front and they lead the army onwards, which is why the frontal lobe deals with problem solving, emotional traits, reasoning, judgment, speaking, and voluntary motor activity. A lot of things you need to determine how to move and live, right? Next up, we have the parietal lobe. A little tricky to remember, but if you think about your parents telling you what to do, you can think that the parietal lobe helps you know left from right, reasoning, reading and sensation, and body orientation, everything that keeps you moving forward within the guidance. Next up, we have the occipital lobe. You may think that this one doesn't work, but if you break down the roots of the words and think ocular, you can realize it means it has to do with vision and color perception. One of the most important parts is the hippocampus. Now, you may be wondering what a hippocampus does. Think about it this way. If you see a hippo running across campus, you're probably going to remember it. And that's why the hippocampus stores memories. So if you see that hippo running, that memory is stored in your hippocampus. Last up, we have the cerebellum. This one is a little bit nuanced, but if you think of a ballerina who does ballet named cerebellum, you will remember that it has to do with balance, coordination and control of the voluntary movement and fine muscle control. 